Welcome to the World Tarot. This is the series Divine Masculine Diaries for the 23rd of November 2021. Oh, Eight of Wands came out quickly. Okay, so the Divine Masculine is the Eight of Wands. This is Aries energy. This is Mars. This is very action-oriented card, right? You could be traveling, you could be working a lot, you could be traveling for work. You're taking action towards... Oh my god, look at that. Everything fell apart here. Uh, half the deck. Tower moment. What's with the tower moment? Why do we have a tower moment? Maybe you have an eight life path or you're born in August. You could be a Leo with the eight of wands here. Born in August. An August Leo. Or you have some significant Leo placements or Aries placements. Even Virgo. Hmm. Leo, Virgo, a lot of Leo and Virgo I'm getting. <sighs> What's happening here? Nine of Cups. Nine of Cups is Scorpio, isn't it? Scorpio or Pisces, I forgot. Anyway, you might have water in your chart too. And air. No earth though, or at least you're not embodying any kind of earth energy right now. Four of Wands. Okay, this could be, you're, you're somebody who's definitely single. You're a happily single person here. You could be traveling a lot. You could be having a lot of fun. Maybe you're traveling to a hot country somewhere, uh, somewhere nice, somewhere where you can sit at the beach and stuff. Yes, the fool. Definitely traveling, having fun. Three of Swords, but you're heartbroken actually. Yeah, Six of Swords. But you're trying to move away from the heartbreak. Also, maybe you're you're the kind of person who... Yeah. When you feel heartbroken, when you feel sad, you try to get away from your problems physically by physically moving away and having fun somewhere. So you're avoiding. You're avoiding the healing, basically. You're not really running away from the heartbreak. You're just running away from the healing, unfortunately. Because the heartbreak goes with you where you go. Okay, so the feminine might have cut you out of their life completely here and that's why you're heartbroken because in the divine feminine diaries we started with the three of swords the feminine came out as the three of swords first of all so um there's heartbreak on both sides and maybe you both feel like this cannot come back together at all and um six of pentacles possibly because somebody's giving to multiple people there could be third parties here too it could be Five of Swords. There could also be arguments between the two of you. It's not just other people getting in the way, but also maybe the two of you. And I said the two of you and the two came out. Two of Pentacles. Yes, yeah, so it's it's uh, round and round. Okay, it's a back and forth. It's a um, never-ending story. Yes. Yeah, it's a never-ending story here with the Ace of Swords and the Eight of Swords. People have been sabotaging each other and themselves and the relationship here. They could have been gaslighting, there could have been harsh words, and people are overthinking. They're very paranoid about what's happened. They keep replaying what's happened, what's been said over and over again. And the heartbreak is real and the uh, mind fuckery is real. So yeah. And it looks like um it looks like the feminine is already uh, getting another relationship. It's getting a, a life partner, a soulmate. King of Swords, that makes you cross probably, because that's why I got the King of Swords coming out here. So either you cut them out or they cut you out. Seven of Wands, there's a blockage. Yeah, definitely there's a blockage. And somebody's been cut out completely, like cold, like that. King of Swords doesn't uh, stay there to talk to you about anything. They just cut you out and they go. Ghost, right? Block. So, yeah. I don't know if you blocked the feminine or they blocked you. The feminine could be in more masculine energy and maybe they decided that they don't want any more back and forth. They don't want any more... Uh, mind uh, games and all that, yes. And the, the feminine is like the king of swords here. 
You're more like this king, queen of swords, even though you're the masculine. The feminine is like the king of swords now. Yes, two of swords block. They love you. They still love you, but they blocked you. Look at that queen of cups. Yeah, they do love you. But ah, uh, this could be the soulmate. This could be the feminine soulmate. The feminine might end up having children with the soulmate and leaving you out in the cold. Yeah. I think that's what's happening here. Is there any way for you to come back together? Is there anything, any way for you and uh, your Divine Feminine to come back together in this lifetime? Eight of Wands. This, could, this is a yes, it could be. But some communication needs to happen. Four of Wands is on the bottom. So yeah, this is possible actually. So what are you supposed to do about this? If you still eight of pentacles, you need to put some effort into this. So you came out as the eight of wands at first, remember? And actually, I started this reading uh, again. I had started the reading, and I got you know what I got? I got eight of pentacles, three of pentacles, and ace of pentacles for you, the masculine. And now I'm getting the eight of wands, which uh, this reading started with, and I'm getting eight of pentacles, which the previous reading started with eight eight. Also, there could be some. There could be a lot of karma between you and the feminine, but of course, this connection never ends. Obviously, so if you talk to this person, if you manifest something, if you work together with them, or you work towards this situation, you put in an effort towards the feminine. I think you can come into union. You can have a new beginning, even though the feminine is very guarded and heartbroken right now. So it is up to you. You can do something about this if you want to, of course. So what can you do to get this union if you want the union now? What can you do to get this union if you want the union now? Eight of uh, The full reverse talks about nothing. I don't think you can do anything, to be honest. Or maybe you need to see things from a different perspective, right? The fool is Aries, somebody who rushes in, who do, does things in a hurry. But when I see... The fool in reverse, I think of the hangman. Pisces energy, sacrifice something. Make a sacrifice. Maybe the sacrifice is you trying to see things from the other person's perspective. Rather than being in this very masculine energy that... I, um, you know, the masculine energy can be a bit selfish. All about themselves. Try to be in a more yin energy. More... Yeah, try to see things from a woman's perspective or a more feminine perspective. Because Pisces is a very feminine sign. Aries is very masculine. Three of Swords. Again, heartbreak. There's heartbreak. This person's heartbroken. Maybe you feel heartbroken too. But you need to see the heartbreak is different for men and for women. They feel it differently. So you need to kind of see the heartbreak from this uh, feminine's perspective. Okay. So try to put yourself in her shoes, I guess. Yes. Well, I, I flipped it over with the deck, but it, it was showing me yes. Okay. This talks about manifesting also. Again, in order to manifest things, you need to, to take a step back to calm down. Uh, you know, to be like in a more feminine energy. So learn to understand the feminine better. What's this? King of Cups reversed. You could be very emotional right now with the King of Cups reversed. Or either that or you're emotionally unavailable. Look, the Fool wanted to come out in the upright, but I, I banged it again and it came in the reverse again. Three of Cups. You could be overindulging. You could be drinking. And maybe you could be crying sometimes. You are in a more feminine energy, but it's because you're heartbroken, you're sad. So you're like in a more distorted feminine kind of energy, in a victim kind of energy. <sighs> Free of pentacles. Maybe you're in the house a lot. Maybe you, you could be surrounded by, by people. People might try to make you feel better. You could be focusing on work also. Six of cups. 
Yeah, maybe you, you want to make a gesture towards the feminine. Five of Cups, but maybe you even want to apologize. 65 could be significant here. Um, maybe you want to apologize for something. Go towards her with a gift or flowers and apologize. Three of Cups so you can reunite with them. Yeah, it's like you need to do something. Yeah, but okay. As I said that you need to do something. Ten of Swords in reverse. You feel like there's unfinished business. And anyway, it's unfinished if it's your Divine Feminine, right? Four of Swords. You've been trying to heal, to try to take a break. Like I said, maybe you've been trying to man meditate, to see things from uh, another person's point of view here. So it's not over completely, but look at that Eight of Swords. This talks about self-sabotage, about being stuck in your head, listening to, to your thoughts more than you do to your intuition. Again, being in the more masculine energy. The thing is about thoughts that they can really mess with our mind. <laughs> our thoughts can mess with our mind. Nine of Pentacles reversed. You're feeling codependent. You fe you're don't feel strong enough, maybe. You don't feel ready for, for a commitment, maybe. Are you scared of commitment here? Four of Pentacles. You see how they're trying to flip? Yeah, they're hol you're holding on to what you have already. You feel like you're... Or maybe this could be stability. Maybe you would feel like you're not abundant enough to start a family or something. Knight of Pentacles. You feel like things are very stagnant in your life, especially when it comes to finances, possibly. You keep trying to put in an effort, but it doesn't. Re you feel like it's not really paying off. So maybe that's why you weren't going towards the feminine. I don't know. Seven of Swords, you're doing something, you're planning something, but it's not moving as fast as you want it to move. Six of Swords, Ace of Swords. So you do want to move into calmer waters, you want to express yourself. You want to talk about these things that you may have been hiding in the past. So what do you want to say to the Feminine if the Feminine is watching? Eight of Cups, walking away. Ace of Cups. What are you walking away from? Are you walking away from things that no longer serve you or karmic uh, energies or something like that? Um, four of Cups. Okay, this could be shadow work. Somebody could be doing shadow work as they're depressed. So they need uh, some alone time so they can do this uh, healing work on themselves. Five of Pentacles. You also feel the masculine feels very abandoned, left out in the cold. Again, I'm getting that the masculine could be very depressed at this time. Some masculines could be very depressed at this time. And that's why they're trying to do something about it with the Eight of Cups here. They're trying to go within and they're trying to heal something. Ten of Cups. Because the, the masculine does want to have the Ten of Cups with the feminine. But they know that right now, the way they are, they can't offer that. So what else do you want to say to the feminine if you're... I think I'm going to do a channeled message again. Three of Wands reversed. This talks about not waiting. So the masculine is telling the feminine that he, she doesn't have to wait for him. But he does want to have like the Ten of Cups. Or he wants the Ten of Cups for her. And he knows that he cannot offer her the Ten of Cups. That's another thing here. Is that it? Are you telling the feminine she should walk away from you? Queen of Wands, she should stand in her power. The feminine should stand in her power, have good boundaries, manifest what she needs for herself. And the masculine does admire the feminine here. That's how I feel with the Queen of Wands. She, he sees the feminine as the sunshine in, in her life. You know, the Queen of Wands usually holds a sunflower in the right or right there. And I was, I saw in, in my mind the, the flower mostly. Like, uh, I saw the card... With the Queen of Wands and I was zooming into to the flower. Five of Swords reversed. So the masculine doesn't want to cause problems for the feminine. So he wants the feminine to stop waiting for... In, indeed to stop waiting for him and to do what's best for her. But we've got the Four of Wands on the bottom. So the masculine does want this but they're not ready for it. So they understand if the feminine wants to have a family or something with somebody else. I'm going to do a channel message, I guess. Okay, so, yeah.
that's what I, we're getting for Divine Masculine. Divine Masculine is trying to heal certain things and is not ready for union. Yes, but they love the feminine, so they're sending you their love. Divine Feminine, if you're watching. I hope this helps. Bye.